All right, Shalom, Brother Kabad, back with another GMS lesson. GMS, keep pushing. Before I go any further, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekab Badash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone of teaching us truth according to the Bible, and we will. And now, Shalom, all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. <coughs> Watch out for false prophets, man. All right. That's the title of this lesson. All right. Um, and we're going to jump right on into it, man. Because you have a lot of false prophets out here leading the flock astray. Right? This is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, the King James Bible 1611, Apocrypha included, it is because there is no light in them. <clears throat> and that's what your pastors, right, the prophets are supposed to be doing. Speaking according to the words, the testimonies, all right, that's written in these scriptures, man. Let's read it again. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, the laws are still here. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. That's why we don't come with our own vain thoughts and opinions. Because they mean absolutely doo-doo. Alright? We come, thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. And a true prophet, a true pastor, right? <laughs> is going to give it to you raw and uncut straight out the scriptures, man. They're not going to bring you their own vain thoughts and opinions. Their doctrine. Okay? They're going to bring the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why the scripture says, woe to you pastors, man. Right? They don't do that. This is Jeremiah 23 and 1. Woe. Woe means destruction. Be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Alright? A lot of you uh, church pastors. Right? You pork chop eating pastors. Woe unto you, man. For scattering the sheep, scattering the Lord's flock, man. And who is that? The children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, all right, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called Native Americans, right? You are scattering them, man. And destruction be unto you for scattering the sheep of the Lord. <clears throat> this is uh, Jeremiah 23 and 2. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord power. Of Israel, right? The God of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. With lies. Smooth things. Prosperity doctrine. Making it here in your captivity. Right? It says, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away. And have not visited them. Visit them with what? Hugs and kisses. Okay, collection plus No, visit them with the truth, man. That's what this thing is about. That's what the Bible is about. Truth, man. It says, And driven them away and have not visited them. Right? Behold. I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. So bad times gonna befall you false prophets, man. You pastors that are leading the flock of your how about Shimia Shah astray, man. Okay? You ought to be ashamed of yourselves, man. Cause look, best believe, you know, these videos we doing for the elect of the nation of Israel. But best believe there's, there's pastors out here that's listening to the Israelites, man. And if there's one listening right now, woe we'll unto you, man. Okay? Repent. Repent. Turn back from your wicked lies. From scattering the sheep of the Lord and visiting them with the truth, man. Tell them who they are. Tell them who the enemy is, man. Okay? Let's grab another one. Let's go to... Stay in Jeremiah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. It says, 
and I will give you pastors according to my heart. That's what the Lord said through Jeremiah. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. You know? And those pastors were the head apostles and elders, man, a great millstone. They fed us with this truth, with this knowledge, with the fear of the Lord, with the understanding of the scriptures, man. Not leading the flock astray. Not leading them down to the slaughter, man. Because that's what you false prophets are doing. That's what they do, man. And they're only here for their own gain, man. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to grab my next precepts. Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. That word heart means your mind. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Better wake up to who your teachers is, Israel. You better wake up. Let's go to uh, Micah 3. It's Micah 3 and 11. It says, The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine, divine for money. Yet, Will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come among us. Come among us. And that's what these pastors in these churches say, man. And look, man, we freshed up, we decked out. You know what I'm saying? We got uh, princely robes, gators, cufflinks, the Cadillacs, the BMWs, man. The houses, the beach houses. Waterfront houses, right? They said, look, man, is not the Lord dealing with us? Is the Lord not supping with us? Look, hey, look, ain't hey, no bad times come upon us. You know? But the Lord got something in store for you, for for you uh, 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 false prophets and pastors, man. He got something for you, man. It's, it's, and, it, look, and, it, and it's not going to be anything nice, man. Uh, grab one more. I'm gonna read this one more time. I'm gonna grab one more and close it on out. It's Micah 3 and 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. These dudes are for hire, man. You know, they don't care about the congregation, they don't care about the flock. Never have, never will. But people still sipping there in church on Sundays, clap their hands, thumb their feet. And pay all they got, man. To that crooked, to that crook, man. That crooked, that crooked, uh, 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 uh pastor, man. Crook by the book, <laughs> you know. Crook by the book, man. Let's go to um. Go ahead and close it out. Uh, see where I want. <clears throat> it's Isaiah 8 and 20. It says, And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers, and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. When ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. And that's what we're doing, man. Okay, you're starting to see the look. The Lord is not uh, uh, um, um, uh, re removing his teachers, man. You're seeing your teachers, man. And it's out there on the highways and byways where the scripture told us to be at, man. Okay? Go to the highways and byways and as many as you can find. Bid back to the marriage, to the marriage of your how about Shimei Abishai, man, who the world ignorantly. And willingly calls God in Jesus Christ because the true names are out here, man. The true names of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, they are out here, man. The teacher's not going to be removed to a corner anymore, man. But thy eyes shall see thy teachers, man. Where? Once again, the highways and byways, crying aloud, sparing not, lifting up our voices like trumpets, man, and showing our people. 
the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, with their transgressions, their sins, what they going off, man. And saying, look, this is the way. Not the Baptist church, not the Methodist church, not the, uh, uh, the Catholic church, not being Muslims, not being Kemet, none of that garbage, man. But being who you are, Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, so you got to watch out for these false prophets, man, because they lead down a, a path of destruction, man. Okay, your teachers are here on the highways and byways, talk with our head apostles, and elders of great millstone, man. So I suggest you should sincere Akim, sincere about this truth, okay? Get out to your local GMS camp, man, okay? In your city, in the state where you live in, all right? And, and, and get this truth. From the true prophets, man. So with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach us this truth according to the Bible and Rubel. And the Shalom, the artists and the Akims for the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity, regardless of our people here, forbear. Shalom.